hi all and welcome back to my channel so I was recently in New York City it was the first time visiting the States and I had such a great time in New York and at the moment I'm still traveling through the States but I wanted to share with you what I picked up when I went to New York I didn't do a lot of shopping in New York but I did want to go to the Tiffany's store check out the range that they had and the beautiful store as you may know this is the iconic location of where breakfast at Tiffany's was sort of inspired and created so it was in New York Tiffany's is an American brand and yes, yeah, so I had a really fun time, went to go see the Empire State Building, climbed to the top, well, it was an elevator, and saw the beautiful views. Honestly, New York City is so beautiful to look at from the top of Empire State Building. I'm in Ulta, which is a really popular place to get beauty supplies and makeup products in the States. Always hear about it online, so I'm really excited to just have a little poke. About to go to the Empire State Building, so um, only have like 10 minutes, but I'm gonna have a quick little look around. Follow me. I think we've got, I've got that and like maybe like the oil or something, but not as much as this. This is like the heaven. The program in beauty and it's free. Earn us points on every purchase. The more you shop, the more your points are worth. Plus, platinum and diamond members are going to be much hair stuff. I just love it. Look at that. It's just sure. Brassiness. It's like Sephora, but even better. Like, definitely better for hair Scrunchies. Come on, I might get one of these. Really spent a lot of time just looking at all the different uh, regions of the city and the different iconic landmarks. After that, we went to see the Statue of Liberty, which was really cool, very iconic for most people, no matter where you are in the world, you know how iconic Statue of Liberty is. So it was really cool to see it up close in person. We got to take a boat out there and we had a tour as well, which was really cool. And we did a few other things while in New York City. There's so much to see and do. I only was there for three days, but we'll definitely be back there again as I really did enjoy the vibe that the city had. I love Chinatown as well. It was so charming and it was one of the best Chinatowns that I've ever seen. Much better than the one in London. It's actually huge, uh, the one in New York. And it has a lot of authentic Chinese. It doesn't look like it's all tourist traps. So I was really impressed by the Chinatown. Another thing that I did get to see, which was the memorial of the 9-11 Museum in uh, New York. And I thought that this was really well done. It does cover a lot of the very important things that happened on that day. A lot of memoirs, a lot of pieces that were found, all that sort of thing um, from that day, which stopped the world. So I thought it was really, really good and um, definitely worth seeing if you're going to also be going to New York. But what I'm here to share with you today is the thing that I unboxed from Tiffany's. So here she is. So this is the packaging. She gave this beautiful little bag and on there there's like a dog chain and it's got the Tiffany's sort of location there as well and the other side just says Tiffany & Co so that's really cool you could actually reuse that and you can see that this is a special box that's got all the pictures and stuff of the iconic location 
And yeah, we had a really good time. Lady kind of introduced us to a lot of different pieces, but I knew what I wanted. It was only something really small, but I thought I'd just share with you anyway. So that's the box. You can see the beautiful packaging that they have. And then I'll just open up this. I'll just show you. I love how Tiffany packages. It's just so gorgeous. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so I sound really croaky. And this is something that I haven't experienced yet. It is a beautiful blue box because the ones that I've used to are the ones that have, it's like a velvet box, but this is a completely different box. So it's blue and this is just a carry pouch, which was placed on top. So opening the beautiful box. And we have the micro smile necklace with diamonds in rose gold. You might be thinking, that's quite a different thing to um, collect. So as you may know, I have another video on my channel which shows me unboxing the Tiffany Smile Original in Gold, which I bought, I think about it a year or two ago. And this necklace I love so much. I wear it like every day and it's just very simple and easy to wear and style with others. Well, when I got this one, I knew that I wanted to stack it with something else. And I do have the Bulgari um, Diva's Dream, but I don't really love that necklace and it is really annoying because it does move around on the chain. So I wanted to get something that would suit this better and doesn't move around as much. So that's why I got this necklace and it is just a smaller version of this. So this is the small size and this is the mini, but this one has diamonds so it just pops a little bit more. I did think about getting just a simple diamond, like a round circle diamond stud um, to stack over the top. But then I did think it would look really cool if I just had like another smile on the top. So I thought it was really unique and different to have both. So. I'm going to show you what they look like stacked together. Um, the store in uh, New York is beautiful. I did start filming in there. But then I was told that I'm not allowed to film, only take photos. So I did stop altogether because I just thought, you know what, I can't really be bothered. But there is a picture of me trying it on and um, yeah, I really, really loved it. There was another ring that I was looking at and I thought, oh yeah, this ring is amazing. The lady was like definitely talking me into it, but it was about six and a half grand and I thought, wow, that's a lot to spend, especially in the States where we can't claim any money back. And I usually, you know, think about larger purchases in, in the EU because they're a lot more beneficial when you get better savings. But I was really tempted because they had my size and everything and it looks so good. It was just for the index finger, but definitely on my wish list for later. But this one is the perfect one for me for now and what I have going on. So I'll just show you how it looks stacked. So I've got this top on, but let me pull that down. So that's how that one looks. And then basically this little one just sits so sweetly over the top like that. And it is rose gold, so it blends in with my complexion a lot easier. And you can't really tell, but you can adjust the the sizing so you can have it like that or if you wanted it really high you can do it like that and it's just so sweet and natural looking and it's not like it's not causing too much attention it's very everyday so you can see I've got my love on this um, wrist I don't have my full stack but that's just how I kind of roll sometimes I just wear things very sort of casually so you don't always have to wear everything all at once and I love how this is just a little bit similar to the one that I had before, but it's not overpowering. So it's very wearable. You could even wear this one every single day. It's not really going to affect, but it's just a little bit different than just having like a round diamond sort of thing. You just got the two smiles there. So really love that and how it looks. 
I have to actually go into the mirror and try this one on and put it on properly because um, it's a little bit difficult with nails. But that's all I wanted to show you. I am still traveling for a little while and I'll uh, do another video and an update on um, how the trips were and um, talk to you then. But I just wanted to quickly jump on here and show you my new necklace from Tiffany's. All right, I hope you're all doing well and I will see you in the next one.